you know, first half of this game, it, it really feels like there's something wrong with the Bills. The Bills went through all of last week playing a sloppy game against the Dolphins, ultimately lose that game, probably outplayed the Dolphins a little bit, but lose that game. Now they're down 20-3 to three in the first half against the Ravens, and Baltimore is a good team, but you're wondering, why aren't the Bills waking up here? Why are they sleepwalking through this effort? What's going on with the Bills and then the Bills finally do wake up and put a number of points on the board, 17 points in the second half, and now it's a 2020 game. John Harbaugh and Lamar Jackson have a good drive going inside the red zone, and it looks to stall out. And so the decision is, do you kick the field goal there with a couple of minutes left on the clock and go up by three and hope to get a stop from your defense or do you not trust your defense and go for it on fourth down, knowing that if you don't get it, you don't have the lead anymore? This was John Harbaugh's decision. He's going to go for it on fourth and goal. Jackson from the gun. Sends Mike Davis in motion to the left slot. Jackson takes the snap. Pocket collapsing. Jackson under pressure. Backpedaling. Lobs to the end zone. It is intercepted in the end zone. Jordan Poyer with his second interception of the day. And Buffalo will take possession with 4.09 left to play. I felt like it gave us the best chance to win the game because seven, the worst that happens is if they go down the field and score, and I think we'll get them stopped. But if they go down the field and score a touchdown, the worst thing that can happen is that you're in overtime. But you kick a field goal there, now it's not a three-down game anymore. It's a four-down game. You're, you're putting them out there. You're putting your defense at a disadvantage because they've got four downs to convert all the way down the field and a chance to, again, score seven, and then you, you lose the game. I didn't understand that rationale at all, and I didn't understand John Harbaugh's explanation of it either, and it didn't sound very well thought out to me. Number one, that was Baltimore Ravens radio on the call. Here's what I think about that. I think John Harbaugh has gotten in his mind, he's been sold by the analytics department, you always go for it. The, the game is tilted towards the offense now. You have Lamar Jackson. And so keep going for it, keep going for it, because ultimately the odds will be in your favor if you do it enough times. I really think, and because this has now been part of his whole bag of, of decisions for the last three years. They always go for it on fourth down. So clearly, and he cited analytics multiple times, clearly the analytics department, and John Harbaugh is a good coach. He's one of the best coaches in the NFL. He's a smart guy. He has been convinced by data department, you got to keep going for it. And in when in doubt, go for it. So, I don't think this was a singular decision made on just the situation. I think this is just now where he defaults to. Because when he is explaining this, he doesn't explain it well. He says, I think we'll get the stop. But if they go down the field and score, then we can't lose. Well, you're talking out of both sides of your mouth. Either you worry that you won't get the stop, or... The other, the other side of this. So I don't think he explained it well, and I, I really don't think in his – I think he's just saying that. He didn't trust his defense there. He did not think they could get a stop from the Bills on the ensuing drive from seven. And he also probably didn't think they could win with just a field goal because he's basically going, I guarantee they'll get three, and I wonder if they'll get seven. And if now we got to go to overtime, you know, again – I don't think I can beat him. So Harbaugh, A, is defaulting to offense at all times now on fourth downs. B, he did not trust his defense. But here's why I hate all of that. He knows his defense better than me. He's got a data department that's telling him all the odds, et cetera. Here's why I don't like any of that. You still have to make Buffalo make plays. And if you kick a field goal there, two things happen. Number one, your offense is rewarded for having gone 93 yards on that drive. That drive began at their own five-yard line, and it took them nine minutes to get down the field. You want to reward your offense for putting in all of that work, for converting all of those first downs, 
to give them something to walk away from and say, hey, we earned that. You let them go nine minutes, 93 yards, and walk away with nothing. So if you do end up in overtime, which is best case scenario for you right there, they have now just been dispirited of, man, we did all that work and we still don't even have anything on the board for it because the entire second half they were shut out. So I hated it from that emotional intelligence standpoint. Yes, you're saying I believe in you, Lamar Jackson, but if you don't get it, you're also deflating your team. Number two, don't say that if we, you know, if we score seven there, the worst that can happen is overtime. The Bills could go down the field and score and go for a two-point conversion, you could lose. I mean, don't say that worst thing that can happen to us if we score seven is we go to overtime. That's not true. The worst is you still lose because the Bills have a great offense and a great quarterback and they can score two. The point is, at some point, you need to make the Bills make those plays. And in this case, if you kick the field goal, you have to, you then apply some pressure. You know, Harbaugh's going, well, then if we only kick the field goal, it's, I've got to make my defense defend four downs down the field, which I didn't understand that either. They're, it's going to be four down territory no matter what. They're going to be down three or down seven. And so, what, they're not, they're going to stop going for it on fourth down if they're only down three? You mean they could kick a field goal? Well, yeah, they got to get into field goal range. In that case, it's a wet day, it's a sloppy day, and the first half the Bills' offense was junk, and all of last week the Bills' offense was sloppy. Kick the field goal, give your offense a little bit of boost, and say, hey, defense, you got to get a stop here. And now we've applied some pressure, and it's a wet condition, and now at least we are in control. And I know seven's better than three, but in not getting it there, now the Bills only have to score three, which is exactly what they did. They knew all they had to do was get into field goal range, and they could and they did. I didn't like that decision. I didn't like the explanation. I like John Harbaugh, but I thought that was a butcher. I thought it was a butcher situation. And, okay, you know, obviously the game had tilted in the Bills' direction. You had squandered a 17-point lead. Your offense wasn't working all half. You were worried that the Bills were kind of coming in your rear view, you were going to pass by you. But, man, ju- just take the points and make the Bills make plays instead of making it easier on them. And... That's what happened, and I just I didn't agree with it there, and I think it was coaching scared. And Marcus Peters clearly was PO'd about it because you're telling your defense, we don't think you can stop them from less than three. Well, we, we think they're going to write down the field on you, so we, we got to score seven here because we're screwed. And the play itself, I mean, you know, I like Lamar, but he's basically just chucking it up, you know. It's kind of a, a wing and a prayer. It's kind of a bit of a, a wobbly duck in the rain. I mean, is that your best play to win? Uh I didn't like that end by by Harbaugh and the Ravens. To me, it's the fourth quarter of a football game. And the decision is, do you want the lead? You're at home, fourth quarter, four minutes to play, do you want the lead? Yes, I want the lead. I do not want to risk not having the lead here. It, it, to me, that was not a luxury the, the Ravens could, could take. Take the three points and force the Bills to go down the field and either kick a field goal to which you go to OT or... If your defense gives up a touchdown drive, okay, so be it, you lose. So be it, you lose. But at least you gave your at least you gave your team a lead with four minutes to play in the fourth quarter. I, I don't know why you would not take that opportunity, Mraz. Where'd you stand on this decision? I, I had no issue with the decision. I had issue with the play. I think that his problem is his reasoning after is terrible. The truth is he understands his team and he understands its opponent. And analytics aren't the same team to team. The Bills had just rallied that whole second half. He felt the ball of momentum. And the one inherent flaw this Raven team has as a championship contender is they don't get after the quarterback. Their pass rush is not classic Ravens pass rush. I think Harbaugh knew that. And in that moment, he felt the momentum coming. They had just had all the momentum of coming down the field for 93 yards. I actually think that's rewarding the team by going for it and saying, I trust you to get two more yards and continue this. That I think he knew. If I don't get a touchdown here and I leave them with a chance to kick a field goal. They're either going to score a touchdown or beat me. I know they're getting at least a field goal, and then we lose a coin flip and lose the game anyway. 
he went for the juggler and went for the win in a scenario where they were running out of time to win the game versus a better team. So I actually didn't have an issue. What can have happen there is you need more of a run pass option with Lamar Jackson, and he can't throw an interception either. But the decision itself, I think, made sense understanding your defense and that offense. Boy, I would have rather made the Bills make the plays, though, down three. I want to put the pressure on them on a rainy field in my stadium. You've got to now, you've got to go make plays because I got the lead. I understand that. I do. But this isn't the Ravens a few years ago. This is an offensive Ravens team. This is not a defensive Ravens team. And did we learn nothing from the Chiefs-Bills game when Patrick Mahomes only needed 13 seconds to go down and score? And, and you just saw what the Bills have done to you. The wet soggy field, everything. They got off to such a slow start. It was such a big comeback. It the Bills had all the momentum. They had figured out what the Ravens were doing. And the Ravens late in that game, they're not going to get a pass rush to get home. They're not going to get to Allen. He's going to pick them apart down the field. Harbaugh knows that. You have an MVP quarterback. He's got to make a play on fourth and two. That play, the design of it was terrible because it was basically a Bills jailbreak on Lamar Jackson. And he just, if you're going to need two two yards to, and get in the end zone, you got to get Lamar Jackson moving forward. Yes. You can't have him dropping back to pass and potentially under duress, and so now he's going to chuck up the duck. Right. Give me some tight ends close over the middle, you know, a two-yard dump off. Somebody will be open, a quick stick, you know, corner route, something like that. Or the RPO, in right. which Lamar Jackson gets to use his legs and just for he two yards. He should be moving forward and using his legs. He's got it. He's got to be there.